There are over 3,800 species of snakes around the world, so it's no surprise that they come in a vast array of sizes, colors, and patterns. We humans tend to spend so much time fearing them that we don't always appreciate their beauty. Here are a few interesting facts about these reptiles. Out of over 3,800 different types, only 600 have venomous fangs. Only 200 of these snakes have enough potency to harm a human. Though they are a reptile, like a lizard is, they have no eyelids or ear holes. Snakes do not chew their food, despite the presence of teeth. Instead, they swallow it whole. These reptiles can be found on every continent but Antarctica. The snake to have lived the longest is located in Missouri, and she is 62 years old. These reptiles seek out the right environment to keep their body warm since their cold-blooded body is unable to regulate its temperature. Most often, snakes will use natural sunlight to keep their body warm, but they will hide to cool off as well. Snakes shed their skin when they grow. Some of them change their eye color when the shedding occurs, becoming paler than their typical color. The shedding process can be rather uncomfortable, but it is harmless. Though some species produce venom, the majority do not. Only 600 species have any kind of venom, and only a third of those venomous snakes have the capacity to wound humans at all, and even fewer can fatally kill them. These reptiles are rather quick and effective predators, but they are also the prey of many different animals. These reptiles may be rather impressive hunters, but animals like large birds and coyotes have made these reptiles into a regular part of their diet. They are also hunted by mongooses, wild boars, foxes, raccoons, and others that can pick them up and consume them. Snakes are also called serpents, which comes from the Latin word serpo, which means creep or crawl. Some snakes are as short as 4.1 inches, like the Barbados thread snake, though the longest snake in the world, which is the reticulated python, is over 20 feet long. The teeth of these reptiles will vary by the species as well. Some species have several needle-sharp teeth, while others have fangs. The snakes with fangs naturally store their venom in the sacs that are behind the eyes. The venom is poisonous, but only about 600 species have it. A snake, sometimes referred to as a serpent, has no ear holes, but its ears are internal. Snakes are found in every color of the rainbow, including red, green, yellow, blue, and black. A high abundance of color means that it is more dangerous, though venomous snakes usually have a triangular head. There are a couple of smells that snakes hate. Some of them include smells of clove, garlic, onion, smoke, lime, and cinnamon. When it comes to hunting, these reptiles have an incredible sense of smell that they rely on. As they flick out their tongue, they seek out the chemicals in the air. Other snakes will use their ability to detect body heat. Constriction and venom tend to be the main ways that the prey is overpowered.
Though every snake will consume their prey whole, the way that they render them helpless varies. Boas and pythons will bite their prey to hold on to them, wrapping their body around and squeezing the life from the prey. If the animal has fangs, it will deliver venom to its prey. The venom comes from a sac that is hidden behind the eyes. Since all of these reptiles are carnivores, there are many small animals that can become their prey. The diet that the animal consumes is based on their species. Insects, amphibians, earthworms, slugs, fish, rodents, rabbits, and birds are all possible foods. Snake scales are made up of something called keratin, which is the same thing that our fingernails are made from. Mother pythons will coil themselves around their eggs and make their bodies shiver in order to heat herself up and keep her eggs warm until they hatch. The biggest snake is the reticulated python. It can grow up to 10.05 meters or 33 feet long. The thickest snake is the anaconda. The biggest one found measured 111 centimeters or 44 inches around. That's huge. The thread snake is the smallest snake. It is only about 10 centimeters, 4 inches long, and the size of a toothpick. Vine snakes are remarkable because they appear to have binocular vision. Many zookeepers believe that cobras are faster learners than other snakes. They are able to tell the difference between their trainer and strangers. The ancient Greek god Asclepios was thought to be a healer of the sick and injured. People would take an offering to the temple and wait for Asclepios to either come to them in their dreams or send his servants, the snake, to help them. One touch of the forked tongue was all they thought they needed to heal them. The healing snake was the Asclepian snake. The Romans would bring this snake into their temples rather than the Greek healers. To this day the Asclepian snake forms part of the symbols representing physicians and veterinarians. This would be funny to watch. The hognose, grass snake, and the spitting cobra will fake death when feeling threatened. They flip into their backs, open their mouths, and let their tongue flop out. And they will let out some smelly stuff from their anal gland. Nobody would want to eat it after that. A reticulated python named Colossus was the largest snake that ever lived in a zoo. She lived at the Pittsburgh Zoo in Pennsylvania. Clifford Pope, the author of a book entitled The Giant Snakes reported that she was 22 feet long when she was captured in what is now Thailand in 1949. Eight years later she grew to 8.69 meters 28 and a half feet long. Her body was 69 centimeters, 37 and a half inches, around and her weight was around 145 kilograms, 320 pounds. These reptiles have a carnivorous diet, meaning that their diet entirely consists of other animals. They can choose warm-blooded or cold-blooded animals, seeking out amphibians, insects, and mammals. For the most part, they don't eat other reptiles, but some of them have been known to go after smaller species. 
Though every snake will consume their prey whole, the way that they render them helpless varies. Boas and pythons will bite their prey to hold on to them, wrapping their body around and squeezing the life from the prey. If the animal has fangs, it will deliver venom to its prey. The venom comes from a sac that is hidden behind the eyes.